Hello and Namaste. This is Jewel from Goddess Creative doing a reading today. Coin request reading for kudos. Kudos. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's C U D O S. Kudos. Kudos. Now, taking a look at its energy right now, the first card I've already started this reading. Don't forget I've already um, done meditation for this and divination, which I actually done yesterday. So I already know the prices. Um, so that we're doing the tarot to get more clarification around what's happening with the project. So currently we have what's come out right now in this timeline is the Nine of Swords. Nine of Swords is very much an energy of anxiety and negativity. So it is stress, burden, overwhelmed, at breaking point, inability to sort of cope. And it's there's a lot of mental anguish and regret and remorse going on here. I asked for more of a clarifying card and I got the Five of Cups. Five of Cups brings with it again. Same thing. These are both no cards. For the moment and this is what I'm getting particularly for the price and you will see that it'll be reflected in the prices that I've given you um, the coin requester uh, that they don't move up that much in this timeline um, of right now and 2023 so the five of cups is focusing on the spilt cups not focusing on the positive it is about despair, um, abandonment, um, regret again. Um, yeah, it's it's it is emo emotional instability. Is can also mean that and focusing on the loss, like I said, focusing on the loss. So that is what the energy is right now. That energy does shift and change. It goes through to 2024, right? So because I asked for a card for 2024. This, I'm still getting this energy in 2024. I want to clarify that with, for you. Um, I get it moving out of this energy once we have that next run, which I get happening in the timeline more towards mid-end of 2024. So I asked for an energy for, for 2024 run, and I get the King of Wands. And this is a beautiful much more passionate being wands energy energetic optimistic confident strong and this will be reflected with the prices as well so i'm really getting that um, as you can see with the price that i've given um, to the coin requester that 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 is the situation for this project um, it is feeling so much more fearless free thinking motivated action proud passionate beautiful beautiful energy going forward in 2024 for this project so we really really do like that okay let's let me look oh further 2025 uh show me clearly 2025 early 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 continuation of the run Show me the continuation of the run, 24-25. Thank you. Is this my card for 2024-25 for kudos, kudos, kudos. Thank you. Oh, lovely. Beautiful. Is this high priestess meant to be reversed? Is the high priestess meant to be reversed, spirit? No. So that is beautiful energy, High Priestess, she is, with the High Priestess she's bringing in a much more intuitive, inner knowing, self-trust energy which is beautiful, it's very insightful, esoteric, it's ancient, old wisdom, knowledge, things yet to be revealed kind of energy, right? So this is very much a reflection of the 2025 early still part of this run energy 
which is absolutely beautiful. It's positive, it's what I'm getting with the prices as well. So I would like the 2026 Show Me Clearly. 2026 Kudos. Spirit Show Me Clearly, Show Me Clearly Kudos. Oh, look at that. Did you see what just jumped out? We don't know if it's for um, Kudos though, because I got two cards. Let me see. These both jumped out. Is this world card for Kudos? No, it's not. Is the Six of Wands for Kudos? Yes, it is. Look at that. That's still very, very good. Okay. So even though it's not the world card, is this Six of Wands? 2026? No. Is this Six of Wands overall energy? Okay. Okay, so that's what that is. So this Six of Wands energy is absolutely beautiful. It is overall energy for the whole project. So I get that this project once it hits the end of 2024 25 it'll have a nice run it'll have a little pullback which is normal because they're all going to have that i think come probably end of 2025 but come 2026 it's going to come back again and it'll come back really really well i don't think its pullback will be that great for this particular project like nothing major um, but I do get that its overall energy is just success. It really is. It's a victory. It's having, um, it's triumphant. It, this is what this means. And this is very much means um, recognition and applause. It's, you know, people cheering on. People will be cheering on and well wishes and supporters and crowds and fans cheering on this, this, this kudos. Um, project um, so I think that's really really nice this will this will memento momentum for it will be it's an energy because particularly with the wands as well I've got the wands here so we've got this leading wands energy wands energy so you know this is a high court card leading wands energy all right don't forget that um, which carries it through with the High Priestess here, Major Arcana. So this carries through as we start to move, particularly after the, the end of 2024 timeline and its overall energy, the Six of Wands, is success. It is recognition and achievement, acclaim and praise. So it, it's what it'll be getting. Its prices will be reflected in that after this timeline so that's what i'm getting i think that's really really nice it's not here for a really long time but it is here for the next few years and it does have um yeah some nice movements especially compared to what it is right now and the energy it's feeling right now so that's lovely for this project i really do like that okay i think i'm going to leave it there that's all that I have today. Remembering this is not financial advice. Do your own research and due diligence before investing in any asset at all. Trust your own cleaned and cleared, grounded intuition above all else. And yeah, blessed be always. Okay, namaste.